having some allergies today. Check this out, okay. Let me find a good example here. Check this out, so those are trees, right? Right, you see how that one, okay, so most of the trees in here are cedar trees. They're not actually cedar trees though, from what I understand, we just call them that. That's the layman's term for them. They're actually called junipers, I think. But notice how this one is very green, and this one has a lot more brown on it. I just learned that there are male and female cedar, I don't know if they're called cedar, we're, they're not really called cedar, we're just gonna call them cedar for now because that's, that's what we call them. I just learned there are male and female trees. That's a thing, and so the green ones, I think, are female, and the brown ones are male. Normally, they look exactly the same, you can't tell them apart, but right now, the male ones are brown because they're dumping tons of pollen everywhere. Texas is getting killed, at least our area of Texas, the hill country, is getting killed by pollen right now. I usually don't have allergies, but there's so much that even I am like, you can hear me, I'm stopped up, and. It's I'm scared to go outside. It's terrible. So you'll just be driving down the road and you'll see this huge cloud of dust rolling across the road. And it's not dust, it's cedar pollen. Okay, Matt, don't do it. You know you shouldn't. You're, you're gonna regret it. Oh, that! Run! It's like a beehive, you gotta get out of here now. That's what we're fighting, guys. It's everywhere. I actually just needed to come over to the demo HQ because I lost the keys to the Bronco and I think I put them in here and so I'm going to find them and see if they're in here. Otherwise, I'm in big trouble today. You'll see why in a minute because the Bronco, there's, the Bronco's a big part of today. Hello? Hello? Oh, that's better. <laughs> okay, so I just gotta find the Bronco keys in here somewhere. Aha! Right where I left them. Just didn't remember. Okay, bye. Someday we'll get power in here. And it will be great. Oh, I forgot. I haven't showed you all the new floor. I don't think I ever showed you an up close. Check this out. Oh, we got the whole floor coated. I, I don't think I, if I already showed this to you, I'm sorry. My brain's kind of just turned to mush lately because I have too much going on. But there's the floor. Looks really good. I love it, way easier to see if I actually open doors, but ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. So I needed to go find Bronco keys because I left the Bronco up at the bunker. We used it for some stuff and I need to go get it because, so let me just start off on what, what the Bronco is. For those who don't know, I'm gonna give you a real short recap. The Bronco was owned by a guy named Tyler Voss, who I went to high school with and we used to drive that thing around while we were in high school. He went to Air Force Academy, and then he graduated, and he went on to the United States Air Force. And I can't remember how long he served. Um, it was a few years, and then he died. Um, in 2013, he lost his life. He was a captain, and he was flying a KC-135 over Kyrgyzstan, and the plane had malfunctions and went down, killing him, as well as two other airmen. Um, the, they were the only three people on board. And that truck, he still had it, it was at his parents' house out on the ranch and it just sat there for another few years, just neglected because they didn't you know, have time to mess with his truck. His brother is a few years younger than us and he had driven around a little bit but he also was in the Air Force at the time so he didn't have time to mess with it. And he was actually, I think, I think at that time he was in Alaska already. So he was far away. And his brother reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want the Bronco? Cause it's just wasting away and I hate to see it waste away. And I was like, yeah, for sure. So I took the Bronco and we spent five years trying to get it put back together and we finally did. And so I've been driving the Bronco around. His brother is in town for the holidays and I told him I wanted to take him for a ride in the Bronco. That he has not seen in a long time, much less driven in it, ridden in it in a long time. So we're going now, I'm gonna meet Forrest and we're gonna ride in the Bronco, and it's gonna be cool. And I thought you guys would like to see that. Dang, there's that bad boy. Look at this beauty, all new stuff, all down here, everything. Look at that pretty pan there. God, good. I already got it, you know, those brand new shocks, I already got them messed up just from running into stuff. That was the plan. And he should be here in like one minute. Like one second. Yeah, I, I think last time I saw it was at the shop and Bernie. I think we like came by. And it was all apart and a yeah, bunch of pieces. Yeah, it was like the body was in one side of the shop, the frame and everything was the other side. I think gotcha. it had axles under it at that point. But yeah, they weren't, they were sitting under it, but they weren't like actually hooked on. They were like ratchet strapped under it. So yeah, here it is. 
So, how long has it been since you've driven in this thing, or driven this thing? Probably, what year did you pick it up for me? Dude, I don't know, I think it was five years ago or something? So, probably like a year or two before that, I yeah. think. I think the fuel pump went out on it, because I remember I like went out there to try and drive one time, yep. and it wouldn't start, wouldn't start. Because I'd already changed fuel pump once on it before that, and I, I don't know if I like got a cheap one or something, but it didn't work. <laughs> and then, ever since then, it kind of just sat, and then I went to Alaska, and I knew it was just going to keep sitting and yeah. keep rotting, and then I called you up. Yeah, well, it's then it just kept sitting for a really long time after that. <laughs> but we finally did it! We got it back together! Yeah, what's cool is all the underside, because this all looks the same as it always did, but... Yeah. Man, everything's new. Pop the hood. Did, uh, I had a question, do you, did, did Tyler make this? Or did it come with this on it? Do you know? I can't remember. Because this is definitely homemade, but someone did a really good job homemaking it. I don't know, I mean. Like it forms. It's really good, it's probably what it is. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that's all I was like, it looks better than, oh, yeah, oh, wait, we probably should take that off before I drive it around. <laughs> we, uh, I was like, it looks better than what a high schooler would do, but it still is definitely a homemade bumper. I have to ask my dad. I know we did some welding, but I don't know if he was ever like. I get in trouble. Good enough for. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> Still gonna get in trouble. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know either. I mean, it's it's not great welding, but it's it's decent. It's better than I can do probably. Yeah. This is freaking. Just a little 427. I think it had a 351, right? It's a 351. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what I was, 302s V6s or they V8s? They were V8s, yeah. yeah. I just didn't know if it did have a 302. I didn't know what they put in these Broncos. I think it was a 351. Was. Burke was saying he thought it was a 351. It's but over, yeah. got a 427 now. Still need to hook up the air conditioner stuff. Haven't done any of that yet. But man, everything is almost everything's done. That's that's, crazy. that's what's hard. It's hard to do anything. You can't <laughs> this thing's so high, it comes up to my shoulder here, you like you can't even you touch the engine. engine bay to work on. Yeah. You gotta get a ramp. You wanna go for a ride? Yeah. Looks sweet. Yeah, man. It's, it's been fun. Burly. Yeah. Like F-350 axles. Big old disc brakes all the way around. This brakes fill out the freaking full tire. Yeah, it stops it very quick. I learned how to drive my, cause this thing used to have five speed, six speed, I can't remember. Whatever it had in it, but that's yeah. how I learned how to drive a stick. I was probably like 13, 14. That's funny. Tyler took me to the ranch back behind our house. Yep. And I'm pretty sure we got it stuck. And then, uh, <laughs> which we were like, we're allowed to drive on one part because it was one of his buddies. And then I guess we went to this like tank thing that wasn't his buddies and we didn't <laughs> know that. So we got stuck and then we went back to get it. And I think we like killed the battery trying to start it. And so we had to like go back and get more stuff. By the time we came back the next time, the guy who like owned the place was there. Pissed. And he was upset, <laughs> so he kind of like ran us off. I got in a little bit of trouble with Tyler in this thing. So yeah, you got in a bunch of trouble with Tyler in yeah. this thing. That's I think the first time I rode with him in this thing, the windshield wipers went out and we were like driving to Bernie. This thing and, was kind of a piece. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, he was like looking out this way, looking for the yellow line, I was looking for the white line. <laughs> We were like, it was probably too dangerous to stop because like people would hit us, so it was a mess. That's funny. Check out those gauges. See what it says? Oh, wow. Pretty neat, right? That's sweet. Yeah. How'd you get that to say that? Uh, we, this, this company, the gauge company reached out to us and they wanted it to say that, so they like programmed it. That's sweet. Give it a little, little touch of gas. Yep. There you go. So this is an auto now, so you just push, push the button down and pop it down to reverse. Okay. Good to go. So down to reverse? Okay. Yep. Because you're in park now, so there it is. Easy as that. Sounds sweet. Yeah, I wanted it to be loud and sound good, but not like overbearing. You know, I wanted it to be like comfortable to drive around, so has some flow masters on there and it sounds pretty good. Now, I'm now you now you're parked. So go okay. back and you just pop down to drive. Mm -hmm. Drive, okay. I don't know if you're in drive or the motor here. I guess we'll find out when it doesn't shift yeah, a second. We'll find out. <laughs> Curiosity? Yeah, we dyno just the engine. Um, we didn't we didn't dyno a wheel dyno, but okay. the engine had over 500 torque. I can't remember the horsepower. It was either in the fours or fives as well. Okay. But yeah, it's got it's a very torquey motor. It's a small block 427 Ford. Ding, and then we look down, there's a big bolt in the 
before. Can't uh, be by his feet. Yeah, that's that's probably that's a big bolt. That means it was for something kind of important. Huh. Well, hopefully we don't crash in a second. You know, this thing was just recently built. He just said, I'm not used to the blinkers working. Those never worked. <laughs> we went through and made everything work so it'll be street legal. So finally everything is good. We got the Bronco rolling and it runs good. It's nice. Just got back to the bunker. Forrest is gonna do its first burnout. Maybe even a donut. He's gonna try to not roll it though. Ideally we don't roll the Bronco. Yeah. Oh gosh, it's so tall. Yeah. <laughs> This will be good for my allergies. <laughs> yeah, brother! You didn't roll, so that was a yeah, good one. <laughs> You're so tall, I was really worried. It didn't seem like it had a ton of body roll, but I was a little nervous. Yeah, not too bad. You wanna see if it do, do a burnout on pavement? <laughs> yeah, buddy! I don't like lining up right in front of your truck. <laughs> that makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Sevens don't like spinning. I feel like you gotta put like a little brake controller so you can yeah, or brake bias. So you turn can... off the rear brakes <laughs> yeah. for sure. That would help. Everything's new in there. Yeah, oil coolers over there. Be interesting to see how that would do if once it got you know in the mud. mud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got it all muddy. Oh man. Now we're dirty. Thanks for letting me drive, man. This thing's sweet. For sure. So Forrest actually, I asked him when I was about to get this thing titled. I asked him like, hey, do you want this thing? And he was like, no, I didn't give you this truck just so that you can fix it up for me. And I was like, okay, so I titled it. But Forrest, I've been driving this thing for a bit. And honestly, the whole time I feel like you need to keep this truck. I really do. Like I drive it and it's fun, yes. but I want you to take it if you can take it. I know you're in Alaska. I mean, we'll, we'll get it up there, but I want you to have fun with it too. You know? I've had fun, but you're gonna, this, you need, this truck's made for you. <laughs> I really did plan on just making it for me, but the more I drive it, like, you need to take this truck. Oh, man. <laughs> will, will you take it? Can you take it to Alaska? I, I will haul it up to Alaska. I, Hell yeah! It's gonna happen, but, geez, man. That's, that's not the way it's supposed to work. I know, know right? I know, and I and I was cool with accepting it, because I was like, I, you know, I have memories with this truck, but you have like a thousand more memories with this truck than I do. That's awesome, man. I appreciate You're it. You're in? I'm in. Yeah. Dude, I'm excited, I'm, dude. Man, dude. For sure. You know this. <laughs> no, I mean, I was like, I was like, for real, like, I, you're going to enjoy this truck so much more than I I would enjoy it. You know, Burke will enjoy it. It'll be fun with us, but like, you need this truck. I mean, we're going to, yeah. All right. I, I think cool. I want to road trip this thing to Alaska. R really? Sorry, I cut it off uh, because, I don't know, I don't like filming like when stuff is too real and like getting sappy and stuff and like I am a person first, a YouTuber second and so I'm not one of those YouTubers who shows you like every single inch of my life. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of talk to Forrest about it like without a camera there for a little bit and uh, anyway, he's he's pumped, he accepted. Um, and it's, I mean, it's for real. Like I just, I drive that truck and it makes me think of Tyler. That's Tyler's younger brother. And so Tyler used to drive him around before Forrest had a driver's license and could drive. I think uh, Forrest is seven years younger than us. So he was a little kid. And I remember we'd go driving when we were in high school. So we're 16, 17 years old. And he would bring his, you know, 10 year old brother out there and his 10 year old brother would be riding around in the back with us. And, and so like, he just has, way more memories than I do in that Bronco. And so as much as that Bronco means to me, I know it has to mean a hundred times more to Forrest. And so uh, I didn't know if he could take it because he lives in like a really remote part of Alaska. Um, but he said he could and he's excited and it's gonna be great. And so he actually can't take an aloe because he, he wants to road trip it up there. Uh, the Vosses are, they're a crazy family, just so you know. Like, I feel like I'm a crazy person and they just aren't always, they're always next level. Like, they always do wild stuff and they're not scared of anything. And so, he is going to road trip it. He said it's like 4,400 miles to Alaska. Uh, the problem is it's, you don't wanna do that during the Alaskan winter, because up, up north, it's a little colder. And so, they'll probably wait till summer to take it. So, 
I'll probably have the Bronco for a few more months, actually. And then uh, I'll give him the Bronco. And then it'll be his, and then he can teach his kids how to drive, you know, in the Bronco as well. So anyway, it's gonna be good. And that gives me, I, I thought he might take it today. So that gives me a few more months to play with the Bronco, which is gonna be good as well. I don't know. I just, I really planned on keeping that Bronco for myself. I thought it might be Lincoln's first car to drive, but the more I drove it, the more I just realized that that needs to go to Forrest. That needs to stay in the Voss family. So, I'm giving the Bronco away. I bet you were a little scared when you saw the title of this video. Holy cow, there's a Cobra. Look at that, bam. Need one of those. Definitely need that in the new garage to, yo. Now I'm gonna have a spot, an open spot in the garage. We could fill it with a Shelby Cobra. It's the greatest idea I've ever had. This is working out so well, you know? You give something away and you get something returned. Well, you gotta buy it, but, oh look, a new Bronco. I'm just, I'm like a squirrel. Maybe I just need a new Bronco. No, that doesn't, does not compare to the old Bronco. All right, man, I feel good. I feel happy. Life's good. Also, today's New Year's, <laughs> so it's a good day. Forrest just texted me. Can't thank you enough, Matt. Already dreaming of road tripping it up to Alaska. Might have to stop over in Moab on the way though, dot, dot, dot. I'm telling you, the Vosses are just built different. Heading back now to go meet up with the fam and then I have something really cool to show you. Camera's at number... Shut up! <laughs> Don't tell Mare.